She knew something was different the moment she saw her get off the bus. She asked her over and over again, AJ, what's wrong? She said nothing. Her mom asked her, listen, did something happen at daycare? Somebody bullying you? And her three-year-old voice, she said, no, mommy. She said, okay, AJ, you're telling me the truth? Yes, she said. She was telling her the truth. Over the next five years, she would notice AJ's behavior become increasingly worse. She started acting out sexually with her playmates. She couldn't even have playdates home anymore. She started becoming aggressive and manipulative. And her mother would ask her, is anything happening? Are you okay? Is anyone touching you? No, she would say. Her mother only went to work. She didn't go out to clubs. She didn't leave AJ at anyone's house. She was a very attentive mom, although she was very young. She only sent AJ to daycare. And the people that ran the daycare were friends of the family. The owner was awesome. Surely there's no worries there. She even spoke to the owner a few times about what AJ was experiencing, her behavior changes. She was baffled. When she turned eight years old, her grandmother-in-law talked to her on the phone after the mom had expressed her concern. The mother-in-law was a skilled substance abuse counselor. And she talked to AJ and got her to disclose that she had been sexually molested and abused at daycare. During these five years, the mom had contacted CPS every single year. That last year, when AJ turned eight before she disclosed, CPS told the mom, if you call us again and make a false claim, we're going to arrest you. Don't call us about this girl anymore. There's nothing happening to her. And if it is, it's because you did it. So now she was faced with a dilemma. Should she call CPS and risk getting arrested and getting her child taken? Or does she just risk it all in order to save her daughter?